here. Cyrenaceae. Gazi. And Cynosin. Alright. Now, we didn't want to do this before because uh, her successor is our son. However, the only other option we had is giving it to our son in the first place. This will give us a little bit of stall time, uh, maybe, for for that. And you can see our reputation is down to 1.6. We've pretty much repaired our piety. Our prestige is still lower than it was before, but we've pretty much come out completely ahead from basically murdering the Pope and all of his friends and installing our disloyal bishop as the Pope. All in all, that went well. Now, other plans. Um, since the Turks failed miserably, and yeah, they've made peace with uh, with with Venice. Unfortunately, uh, our next target, I think, is going to be the Hospitaliers. I'm gonna wait. I think I think I'm gonna wait until it goes down on the way. This is why I'm keeping this province, uh, so that I can have troops to that I can immediately use to go into this province and take it. Um. And then maybe go straight into this province so that I have a a, a duke a dukedom to give away. Um, so yeah, uh, that was good. Uh, we got rid of a problem. Um, we've basically given away these, and if he breaks off, I don't really care, as long as I don't get realm dress from it or something. Uh, he's loyal. It's not a you know, uh, rebellious or anything. Roger in our longest serving and most loyal vassal, who has converted all of his provinces to Breton, even though he's a Norman. Has earned the right to have his son succeed him now. But, uh, as you can see, we have problems with the succession. And his problems are with his succession are these three. Um, again, we're probably going to have to murder these people. But we'll have to keep our eye on it. Now, I don't really care that much because he's converted all of his provinces to Breton, whether that whether a Norman or a Frenchman is in charge, but it it's no longer part of our bloodline. We can take them back. It's much easier to take provinces away from a duke than from an archbishop. As you can tell, I did re reorganization just fine with this guy. And, you know, he's pretty much straightened out and become, you know, a good guy. Uh, so... This Pope, this brother's the Pope. Um, so pretty much everything's hunky dory. Um, I really wish this guy was back, even though all of his sons are dead. Well, Gwesenek isn't. Uh, actually, he's in the succession for the Teutonic Knights. That's cool. Anyway, uh, to stop the rambling, 
I'm going to... I'm going to let my reputation go down to probably 1.2, and then I'm going to grab this. Uh, and then I'll be back when something interesting happens. Looks like our third son, Beltram, has come of age. No, he doesn't have his, uh, his thing yet, but we'll uh, check out and see if we can find a wife for him. The Kingdom of Germany has declared war on the Kingdom of Mal of Moravids. This is, this is good. This is, uh, this is a good sign. Um, it doesn't look like uh, Norway is having much of an impact. They did have some guys land and start taking Burgos, but nothing else seems to have been happening since then. Um, oddly enough, they've been at war with the Kingdom of Brittany for a long time, and they still haven't taken this province. I'm wondering why they're not doing that, because they think they can just go straight through here and take it. But maybe the Emirate of Fest doesn't like them. I don't know. Anyway, um, we found our, our son a daughter, or our son a wife. Uh, she's part of the bloodline, but she should be pretty far away from the bloodline. We'll find out when this kid is born whether it's inbred or not. So, yeah. Well, it looks like our our uh, Duke of uh, our Duke of Sinai here is having some problems with one of his with one of his uh, his vassals. So we'll declare war on him. Um, I'm fairly certain he can take care of this, but. I shall, I shall send some troops to assist. Yeah, sometimes this will happen. Your your vassals will lose some of their their do their their uh, counts, uh, and you're basically uh oh. This guy just wants to kill everybody. I'm not sure why he's going to defect. He doesn't get any bad traits, so... Uh, from that. Oh, he got amiable. That's fine. Amiable's okay. So, he likes his mommy. Yeah, but you basically have to, uh... Make sure that they get their vassals back. Or else... You know... Or else they'll go independent on you. Um... Yeah, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking the province. And I'm going to decline this guy's peace offers and I'm going to chase his troops around and let him chase and let him capture the province. So that he gets the claim on it and I don't. So I'm going to chase him out to here. So he can't come back in. Whatever. Um going to, so I'm going back here. Wait. Something just happened to the King of Brittany. Alright. The King of Brittany is now at peace with the Almoravids. The Almoravids took all their territories but this one. But at least they still exist. And it looks like the Almoravids are taking out the Templars over here. Looks like they got a lock on pretty much all of... 
but eventually they'll get a bad leader. Uh, and when that happens, it'll pretty much fall apart. I'm not too concerned about this right now. Um, I'm more concerned about this. Uh, but they're weak provinces, so as soon as England or France just kind of gets their eyes on it, uh, that'll, that'll probably go away. Uh, it does need to be, you know, watched, at least. Okay, he took it back, so we get uh, no bad boy or anything from that. He helped our vassal regain his province, which is probably, he'll probably give it away to the same guy again because he's a moron. Let's watch. Let's watch and see if he does that. He did, uh, but, yeah, we'll just have to make sure that he's, uh, he, you know, stays a vassal. Well, it looks like Denmark and Germany are now at war with the Almoravids, in addition to Norway and other people. Um, let's just see if England is. No, they're at war with the Turks. So they're they're doing their own crusade thing. So Denmark, Norway, and Germany are pretty much uh, they they have the chance to take them out. Uh, again, all we can do is keep an eye on it, and make sure that everything goes well. Hopefully, eventually. Uh, Sweden gets in on the deal, but they got problems over here, so. Uh, yeah. What? What is the Kingdom of Castile doing over here? Whatever. I guess they maybe inherited the province? And they were just a, like a guy without a kingdom for a while? I don't know. You can't do that. Like, you can't be a, a count and lose uh, lose stuff. The Jews are still here. Interesting stuff. Humans. Humans got beat up. Um, yeah, basically... Uh, my train of thought there. Yeah, basically, we're just waiting until we can uh, start fighting the uh, the uh, hospitaliers. I might take this province too, because it's in Jerusalem. Uh, I don't really care about these two provinces. In this one, uh, so we'll just leave that be. But I do want this one. And because I do eventually want to have Jerusalem, I'll take this one too. Um, and then we'll deal with the rest of it as it comes up. This guy's got Rome to rest, so uh, the Turks are probably going to start falling apart majorly again. And then once we have our hold on everything that we can possibly take that isn't part of Venice, we'll deal with Venice. We still gotta, we still gotta claim on Venice. We can get more claims on Venice. I'm not entirely worried about them as long as they don't start trying to conquer all of the Seljuks again. I'm not too concerned. Um. So yeah, it is disappointing that the Turks didn't beat them, but it's not that big of a deal. So we'll, we'll just kind of keep our eye on things, wait for our reputation to go down a bit, and then take out those two provinces. Now that is a crusade. <laughs> oh, they're at France now. Aragon, Castile, Denmark, France, Germany, Norway, and the Templar Order, and a bunch of dukes. 